Hello, my name is Benjamin Wurzbaugh, I'm a massage therapist at Brilliant Massage Therapy in Burlington, Vermont, and we're going to do a quick video to demonstrate fire cupping. Uh, this is Yolita, she's going to be my demo client. So the first thing I'm going to do is just apply some uh, lubrication to her back so that we can slide the cups around once they're applied to the skin. And uh, cupping is the uh, is an ancient uh, healing art form. It's been practiced in China for thousands of years. It's simply the uh, application of suction cups to the skin. Um, the cups can look like this, uh, which are just straight silicone rubber cups. Um, they can be plastic cups with a pump, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use uh, the glass cups with fire to create the suction. So the suction is created by placing the flaming cotton ball inside the cup. It consumes the oxygen in the cup and then I place it quickly on the client's skin. You doing okay there, Alita? Yeah, feels great. So as you can see, the skin is, brought, uh, is being drawn up into the cup. Now the benefits of this are similar to massage in that it is um, pulling on the muscle tissue, it's pulling on the fascia, and it's bringing uh, fresh blood up to the surface of the skin. And the suction is created instantly. So for this purpose, we'll just do two cups. Um, and now that the suction is created, it won't, um, it won't weave even if I slide the cups along Yulia's body. And while massage is typically these downward pressure into the body, the cupping is kind of doing the reverse by pushing, pulling the tissue upward. So I can slide the cups along and inside you can see the tissue is pulled up inside the cup all along. Feels really smooth. Yeah. Um, the glass cups have nice rounded edges so they create a smooth surface for moving across the skin. Um, I can leave these cups here and let them sit and you can see the skin will continue to get pinker uh, and darker as I loop the longer I leave them. Now cupping, uh, like I said, has been practiced for thousands of years. It's very safe. Um, the only uh, side effect that is um, typically experienced is the markings that are left. So when these cups are left on, um, and removed, there is going to be a dark purple spot on Yolita's skin. Now, it looks like a bruise, and it's typically called a bruise, for lack of a better term, but it's not a bruise. Um, there's no blunt force trauma happening, and there's no blood entering the interstitial space in the skin. It's all contained in the cardiovascular system, and once the cups are removed, the uh, marking will go away in a couple of days. Um, another typical side effect, some people claim to say it's kind of itchy, um, on their skin or maybe they feel uh, heat because of the blood um, moving up to the surface but again those um, typically go away in a couple of days if if they're experienced at all and so now even though this cup hasn't been on long I'll remove it and you can kind of see the marking so there's a faint mark there that would that's uh, again the marks are typically much darker after a typical uh, long cupping session but in case you were curious about what cupping is, this has been a short demo and I uh, hope it's been informative. Thanks. So if you're curious about fire cupping and are interested in adding it to your massage session, you can book at yolitabrilliant.com and get fire cupping from myself or any of the other therapists here. In the near future, we're also gonna be offering massage memberships. So if you're curious about that, you can find more information on the website. Again, yolitabrilliant.com.